Hello Leopards, back with another class. Uh, we've got lots of different stuff for you today. We're going to start it off with some warm-ups, some stretching, and that will get into some curriculum. Alright. Okay, so we're going to start with our animals to get us warmed up. So we're going to get started with frogs. First we need to bow in. Sorry. Yeah. Feet together, hands in chamber, left cat stance, inward block, punch, open, push down, chop. And bow. Good. All right, now we'll get started with those frogs. Remember, you're going to bend down and then jump up. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Landing on your toes. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good. Next one we've got is bear. So remember, we're going to go down to bear like this, and then we're going to jump up. And then when we come down, those feet are going to come off the ground. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Alright, kangaroo now. So feet together, hopping, just in one spot, and forward and back, side to side, forward and back, side to side, and in a circle, and the other way. Stay on your toes, forward and back, and up. Uh, Good, white crane is next. So one foot, arms out, here we go. Keep just on your, try to keep this leg up as high as you can. And put that one down, the other leg. Arms out. Stay on your toes. And relax, next one is gorilla. And we're going from side to side. Here we go. One, then two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Good. Scorpion. Two hands, one foot. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Now that we're all warmed up, we'll get on to some stretching. So we'll start with our neck feet together. Neck back and forward. Just bring your head back and forward. Nice and gentle. Good. And then side to side. Bring your ear to your shoulder, not the other way around. And now make a circle with your neck. Nice and gentle. And the other way. And the other way. Good, and relax. All right, arms back. So you can do one at a time now. And forward. And relax. Now, cross. Good. Bring one knee up into your chest and circle your feet. You go up and down and in a circle and the other way. Put that one down. The other leg, bring it up. Pull it in tight to your chest. Your foot up and down. Side to side. And now do a circle. 
and then go the other way, and the other way. Good, and now drop your knee down and back, grab your instep, pull that back. Put that one down, and the other leg. Try to keep that balance, staying on that one foot. And relax. Now our round kick stretch up to the side. And put that down the other leg. Try to hold for about 10 seconds usually. And down. Good. All right, we're going to be in our fighting stance. We're just going to switch fighting stances. Okay, so left leg forward, switch to right, switch, switch, just back and forth. Just keep switching. Looks like you're uh, cross country skiing. That's what I was going to say. Cross country skiing. Switching, switching, switching. And relax. Good. So um, our combo, we have two combos. Today, combo 11 and combo 12. So, first combination is going to be step through front kick. So, that leg that's behind is going to step in front. And now, my lead leg, this was my lead leg, and now becomes my back leg. And my front kick, put it down, jab, jab, cross. We'll shuffle back. Okay? Step through. Now, when you step through, Step into a lady stance. You don't have to, or you can step a little bit more into a forward stance. Okay, but we're going to take that step, kick, jab, jab, cross. All right, give me animal count these ones out. Here we go. Starting with our left leg forward. One. Two. Make sure you're kicking with the bottom of your foot. And you're moving forward each time. Three. Four. Keep those elbows in when you're punching. Five. Six. Seven. Kicking with the right leg. Two. Stepping forward with the left, kicking with the right. So stepping Three. forward, kick. Four. Make sure that knee comes up and the foot goes Five. out with that front kick. Six. Really important with that front kick. Knee up, foot out. Seven. So step, knee up, foot out. And control that descent. Eight. Nine. And ten. Nice. Now we're going to do a back leg front kick. Combo 12, back leg front kick, jab, jab, cross. So. Our back leg is going to do the front kick and it's going to come back behind us. Jab, jab, and cross. Okay? So, back leg does the kick, but it's going to come back where it started. And then jab, jab, cross. So, from the side view, here's how it looks. Back leg, so I'll do it on the yellow and red line. So, my back foot is on the red line. Knee up, foot out, comes back. 
jab, jab, cross. All right? Give me an arm, these ones out. Left leg forward, kicking with the right leg. One. Keeping your hands up. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Kicking with the left, bringing it back behind you now. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Good. So remember those combinations, we're controlling that kick, controlling that kick, all right? We don't ever want to do this, right? That kick, if it's from the back leg, comes back, okay? Or if you're going forward, don't do your front kick and then land, all right? You want to control that kick. That's what it's about, is controlling those kicks, okay? Okay, on to kicks. So, spinning rear kick. For a spinning rear kick, we're going to start in our fighting stance. Our left leg is forward. We're actually going to be kicking with the right leg. So, we're going to look to the right. We're going to look to the right, and our back leg is going to come up into a cat, the cat stance. And now, from the cat stance, this is important. Don't shoot your leg across. Go straight back. Okay? So, see how this is, I'm crossing. Here, what I want to do is just lift my foot up, keep my knees together, and push my foot straight behind me. Push it straight behind me. And then I'm going to turn back to the stance that I was in. Okay? So, I want to do that kick, but my foot, my lead leg, it's going to stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. Don't move it. Okay? Keep it there. Get up. Push. With the back leg, push up onto your toes, and that's what gets you to spin, and kick, and back. Making sure you're looking over your, I'm kicking with my right leg, so I'm looking over my right shoulder. Okay, so push off, turn, kick, and then back. All right? Okay, we'll do a few of those, Damiano will call those out. One. Two. You're looking over the left shoulder because you're kicking with the left leg. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Look over that shoulder. Ten. Okay. 
Now, spinning side kick. So, uh, spinning rear kick is about, you spun about halfway. So, from here to here, that's about half of the circle. Now, we're going to complete the circle and we're going to do our side kick. So, same thing, keep that lead leg on the ground, push off with the back leg, and now I'm going to turn three quarters. Okay? And now I'm lifting my what was the back leg, up, and now the inside of my knee is going to go down, foot is going to go up. And now, the tricky part is the foot that kicks is now going to be in the lead. Okay, so we're switching stances each time. So, now I push off my back leg, turn, so I'm about three quarters of the way, knee up, inside of the knee down, and foot up, back. Okay, so again, back leg, and then we're going to turn, kick, and then back. All right, push up, turn, and right here, this is that three quarter turn. Now my knee comes up, my foot goes out. All right, try not, when you're just doing these, what we'll do is we'll turn, we'll do the spin, and then we'll kick and come back. Okay, spin, kick, and then back. And then once we do a few more, we'll add a little bit of speed. Okay, Damiano, I'll call these ones. So left leg forward, and you're going to be kicking with the right leg first. One, two. So we'll spin and then kick. Three. Spin and then kick. Nine. Ten. Good. Now we'll do just a few more with a little bit more speed. Move up a little bit, Damien. There you go. All right. Here we go. One. Okay, so remember on those spinning kicks, you need to get your head around. That's the first thing you need to do, is get that head to look, okay? If my head isn't around first, I can't see my target, right? So that's the key to a good spinning kick, is the head looks and sees the target, right? And you don't want to be on your heel. When you spin, you want to be up on your toes. So you push off with the back leg, get up on your toes, and your toes actually spread out, and that's what gives you your balance, okay? And that's why we do a lot of balance exercises. Okay? We'll get our blood warmed up again and do a bit more exercise, and then we'll uh, work into some self-defense. So, horse stance jumps. Uh, out into your horse stance, all right? Hands in chamber. And now you're going to push off and jump up. Push and jump. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we'll do some punches from horse stance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16. Now we're going to do high block, punch. And then your punch is going to go to a high block, and then a punch. Alright? So start with a punch, and then from the punch, high block, punch. 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 Good. Now we'll do inward block and punch. Alright? We'll just do inward block with one hand, punch with the other. Okay, so inward block with the left, punch with the right. Inward block, punch. Inward block, punch. One, two, three, four, five. Good, now inward block with the right, punch with the left. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five. Good. Staying in that horse stance builds those leg muscles. That's why we're here. Good. All right, feet together. Now let's do some star jumps. Here we go. Apart and inside. Up high. Bring them apart and together. Your feet apart and then together. Keep going. Good, yeah, relax. Nice. It's important to get those legs, the leg muscles built. So when you're in your horse stance, you're building those leg muscles, which is really good for your kicks. So when you're staying in that horse stance, you can do all your blocks and your punches from that horse stance. But make sure your knees are bent, your back is straight. Don't be leaning over. You keep your hands in chamber. Pull your elbows in. Remember when you're punching, the inside of your arm should come right next to your uh, ribs. You should feel that. Okay? Our self-defense technique for today is rising elbow. So that's if somebody's going to grab you from behind over top of your arms. Okay? So we're going to do a few solo uh, with our phantom partner. And then we'll, uh, the boys are going to grab hold of each other and uh, we'll go through it. Okay? So with our feet together, imagining somebody has uh, their arms around us. Okay? What we're going to do is step out. It doesn't matter what side you step out. So just for argument's sake, we're going to step out to the right. And then we're going to do an elbow hammer fist. And picture, that guy's behind us. So we're going to sneak our leg in behind theirs. And then our elbow is going to come up, and then we're going to hammer fist. <clears throat> okay? So do that again. Ready? Step out, elbow, hammer, sneak behind, up, and hammer. And we're in our horse stance. We're not up like this, because in the technique, bad guy's in front of us, and then he's going to trip over our leg. Okay? So we'll do a couple more. Ready? And we step out, elbow, hammer, sneak behind, up, and down. Okay, we'll do it from the side, we'll turn sideways. So step out, elbow hammer, sneak behind, come up, and hammer. And now we'll do it facing the back. Step out, elbow hammer, sneak behind, come up, and and now we'll do it this way. So we'll do all four. Step out, elbow hammer, sneak behind, come up, and hammer. Okay? So this self-defense technique, 100% you can do by yourself. Okay, next we'll do uh, with partners in case you do have a partner and you're able to work with somebody. Okay, uh, we're in close now with uh, Damiano and Matteo and they're just going to do a one for one back and forth and I'll point out common mistakes and things to be aware of. So Matteo's bad guy, he's got his arms wrapped around Damiano and so now this is what we were talking about, stepping out just like that. Elbow, hammer, sneaks behind, elbow comes up, and then hammer fist. Okay, good, again. From the front, here we go. Steps out, elbow, hammer, sneaks behind, elbow comes up, and hammer fist. Okay, now from this side here. Steps out, elbow, hammer, and he sneaks behind, and will comes up and hammer fist. And now from this angle, you'll see how he's going to sneak behind, and he's going to step out. He steps out, does his elbow hammer, sneaks behind. Good, just like that. Okay, and then one more time from, do from this side. Good. Okay, so common mistakes, and watch, Damiano's going to do common mistakes. Common mistake is not stepping out. So when he did his elbow hammer here, he didn't get bad guy. Okay? When you step out, then you get bad guy in. You, you're going to elbow bad guy right in the stomach and then hammer fist in the schnugats. Okay? So common mistake number one is not 
stepping out. And common mistake number two is not sneaking behind. Watch Damiano try to do the elbow, do the rising elbow. He can't. So, see his leg is in front. This is Damiano's leg. That's Damiano's leg. And that's Matteo's leg. So, Damiano needs to step his leg behind. And now he's right in tight. And that causes the tripping action. Okay? So, those are the two most common mistakes we usually see with this self-defense technique. So remember, step out and step behind. Step out and step behind. Okay, now we'll do some ground work. To get ready for our ground work, we're going to get on the ground. Remember, if, you're, um, if you have the space to do so, practice uh, getting down. So tuck your chin, tuck your chin, bend your knees and sit back down and roll. And then use your hands to uh, brace, get your, the palm of your hands, okay? So now that we're down here, we're gonna do some sit-ups. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good. All right, some push-ups. Now remember, when you're doing your push-ups, don't be up here like this and do this. You're in your plank position. Your hands are right by your armpits. Your toes are curled in your front kick position, and you're pushing up and bending the elbows. Okay, ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Good, laying down, hyperextensions. So trying to lift your knees off the ground and your hands off the ground. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen, and hold, and rise. Good, those are good for your back, strengthening your back muscles. So, you go up to crab. Push your belly up as high as you can. And then sit down and feet up for boat. And then crab again. Hands down, feet down, push your belly up. And boat. And crab. And boat. And crab. Good. And relax. Excellent. All right, we're on the ground for this portion of the class. So uh, we're going to work on punch block series, stage one, two, three, and four. So punch block is from guard. Um, so our guard is, we've got our bad guy wrapped in here, okay? So that's where bad guy is. Stage one is I've got the neck, and then I've got the arm, one of the arms. Okay, so I can have it this side here, and then I'm up over the tricep. And the biggest thing with stage one is a lot of people just hold the, the arm. But you want to come up over and then get your hand right on your belly here. Okay, so that's stage one. And now stage two is if bad guy rips out, tries to punch you, you're going to use your knee. So you're going to use your knee here and come up over monkey grip. So their arm's going to be in here. And then if they do the other side, same thing. So you're going to be here. And now what you want to do is push your knees out. Hold monkey grip just like this. Push those knees out. And now stage three is if bad guy rips out of that and they get up onto their knees. What you're going to do 
is you're going to push your knees into their chest, okay? And your feet are going to be seatbelt on their hips. It's kind of hard to do, but you're going to be just like this. So it's like um, uh, bridge, bridge pose. That's what you're doing, okay? You're doing like a bridge pose for stage three. And then stage four is they're going to stand up on their feet. So now your legs are going to be straight. They're going to be up there, okay? And then you're guarding up here, all right? So we can do those without a partner, without our phantom partner, right? So stage one is locked up here, hugging the neck and wrapping the arm. Stage two is using your knees, pushing out. Stage three, come up into bridge. And you should always be guarding up here. And then stage four, bum goes down and feet go on the hips, okay? And if they're pushing towards you, then you're going to let them come back in and scoop them back up, okay? So we'll do this with our partners now, if you have them. All right, Damiano and Matteo, here we go. So here we are in guard. So Damiano's in guard. The feet are wrapped, and now the neck is hugged here. And here's what I was talking about, this, this here. So here's Matteo's arm. Damiano's wrapped and his arm is on his belly button. So it's nice and tight in stage one. So there's stage one. And now, Matteo rips his arm out, which is possible to do. Now Damiano's using his knee, all right? Using his knee right here. That's Matteo's knee, and that's, or sorry, Damiano's knee, and that's Matteo's arm. And so there's that monkey grip, okay? And then the other side rips out. Same thing. And at this point here, this is where you want to push the knees out. Push your knees out. It makes it uncomfortable for bad guy. And now stage three is going to come up. And here's where we're talking, right here. So Mate Mateo's legs here, Damiano's feet on his hips, on his legs. And his arms are in for his shield to protect himself. And then Mateo stands up onto his feet, Damiano's feet stay on the hips, and then Matteo comes back in, Damiano wraps him up, stage one. Now stage two. Good, and stage three. That's it. Stage four. Stage one, stage two, three, and four. Good. All right, so common mistakes here, like I was saying, uh, in stage one is not having this wrapped or not having the neck wrapped, okay? If you don't have any anything wrapped up here, Mateo's gonna post up, sit up, and have his will, okay? Now, stage two, most common mistake, we'll go up into stage two, is not using that knee. Or if you're using that knee, not having the arm pull it down, okay? Stage three, most common mistake is not pushing the knees up into the chest, okay? If those knees aren't into the chest, watch what happens. Here, see how Mateo can reach him? So now he's gonna push his knees into his chest and he can't get reached. And now the other thing too is we wanna get our shield in a little bit closer, Damiano. That's it, there we go, okay? And then stage four, is knees bent, that's a common mistake. If, if Damiano's knees are bent, see how Matteo can come in, but he, if he keeps his legs straight, he can't. So those are the common mistakes. All right. Thanks very much for joining us uh, for today's class. And we look forward to seeing you real soon. And uh, remember to keep watching these videos, keep practicing. Uh, there's lots of content on the channel for you to go through 
the kata, the kicks, combos, um, all the curriculum for each belt. So, yeah, let's uh, keep learning, keep working together, and keep growing. Okay, feet together, and we're going to bow. Hands in chamber, left cat stance, inward block, punch, open, push down, and chop. Thanks for watching.